This video accompanies our article Moments Defined by Subdivision Curves in which we compute the exact area, centroid and inertia of the two-dimensional sets bounded by subdivision curves. Let's discuss a few examples. The figure shows a set in the plane that is bounded by a dual C2 four-point subdivision curve with control points as indicated. Using our new formulas, we can state the area enclosed by the curve, the centroid, as well as the three numbers that define the inertia of the set as shown to the right. The curve in this example is generated by the dual three-point scheme. The area, centroid and inertia are as indicated. The values are relevant for physical modeling and animation. The final example shows a contour that might seem a bit awkward, but the formulas apply here also. The scheme is the interpolatory C1 four-point scheme with tension parameter omega as indicated. Area, centroid and inertia are all moments of the set, here denoted by omega, that is bounded by the subdivision curve. The area is the moment of degree zero, that means the area is the integral over omega and the constant function one. The centroid corresponds to the two moments of degree one, which are then divided by the area value. The coordinate functions x and y are shown here over the domain omega. The moments of degree one are the two integrals The inertia is defined by the moments of degree 2 that have integral expressions as shown. Often the domain omega is translated to have centroid at the origin 0, 0 before computing the inertia. Subsequently, the domain omega can be rotated so that the second integral evaluates to 0 and the inertia tensor is of diagonal form. We list several curve subdivision schemes that are covered by our derivation. We note that the popular cubic B-spines method results in curves with polynomial parametrization, in which case the moments can be obtained through straightforward integration of the polynomials. For the three other schemes, however, the curves do not have a closed form parametrization and our new technique is required to compute the moments. We now motivate our approach and give the intuition behind the formula. Just like for polygons, we are going to partition the domain into cones. The integral over the entire domain is the sum over the integral of the cones. Here is how the partition looks like for different subdivision curves. For each initial control point, there is one cone. For primal schemes, the cone is between two control points. For dual subdivision schemes, the cone is centered at a control point. Now back to the polygonal case. If we split the cone into two parts, the sum of the moments of the two parts have to add up to the moment of the initial larger cone. We symbolize this requirement by the following equation. M represents the operator that computes the moment based on the points P that span the cone. S1 and S2 are the split operators. One round of subdivision carries out precisely this binary split, just that generally more than two control points are required. In the example illustrated, five control points determine the facet of the cone. The equation conceptually remains the same. The moment operator is a multilinear form and S1 and S2 are matrices. In our setting, the unknowns are the coefficients in M, while all the other terms are known. Here we indicate how to solve for the coefficients in the multilinear form M. The products of coordinates of the control points are considered as a basis for the vector space of forms. What remains is a linear system where m has to be identified in the null space of a matrix. The coefficients of the matrix only depend on the subdivision weights. We conclude. 
the multilinear form that computes the moment of degree d for planar sets bounded by curves of a specific subdivision scheme only need to be derived once. Several of such forms are stated in our article. Additionally, the source code to derive more forms for the computation of moments is available on my website. Here is an outlook. Recently we have published the derivation and formula for the volume enclosed by subdivision surfaces. In 3D, this corresponds to the moment of degree 0. The centroid, or inertia, that means moments of degree 1 or greater, are still not solved for, however. Thank you for watching.